Okay, everybody. Hello, one, two, three, testing. Here I am, live streaming late night with your host, Steve. Uh, so the upgrade is now complete. I have now upgraded my Franken loop to a, du a dual 3090. Um, I guess I can show you guys. There it is. So, anyway, that's the dual 3090 uh, water cooled in my Franken loop. It's a crazy ass um, parallel water flows. <coughs> I have four water pumps in parallel and some in serial, and it's really complicated. I'm not going to go into all of that. But in the meantime, in my last video, I... I'm just trying to get set up here. Um, I upgraded from a 2080 Ti, um, a dual 2080 Ti and SLI mode hooked up with uh, an MB link. <coughs> Sorry. So what we're going to do here is uh, run some benchmarks. And uh, we're going to start with 3D Mark. And the times, not, not time spy. Well, maybe it is. No. I figure out Port Royale. We're going to do the 3D Mark Port Royale uh, benchmark. Now, um, just to give it away, <laughs> I got 23,000, maybe 24. Um, points, uh, 3D mark, uh, benchmark, uh, a sc uh, points or a score of 24,000-ish, 23, 24. Uh, let me go over here to the benchmark and fire this thing up. Okay, here she goes. Uh, I haven't done any overclocking. Yeah, the overclock... I use um, MSI Afterburner to uh, tweak the, the the clocks. It's interesting with the 3090, and I assume uh, with the 30 series, um, any of the RTX 30 series cards. Uh, the only thing you can do is um, goose up the uh, memory clock and the GPU clock, and that's it. You can't touch the power. The power is at 100%. Um, there is a little room to mess with the temperature, but that's irrelevant. When I have this water-cooled system, it's um, it runs really cool. <laughs> uh, it's amazing how cool my GPUs are running. And I'll have to look on Reddit to see what the um, what uh, other p other water-cooled uh, RTX 3090s are running at, but mine, my two are running at about 35 degrees centigrade uh, with the water, I think the room temperature is about 25. And so now if you look at the temperatures, uh, 32, 34, they're gonna go up a few more degrees, but that's about it. And all I can say is hot diggity. Those are very, very cool um, GPUs. It's really quite impressive. Uh, so what else? Um, we're getting about 100 frames per second. The GPU clock, uh, 18, about 1800, 1900 megahertz. Oh, it just hit 2000 megahertz. Uh, for some reason, it, it sort of peaked up. The memory clock, is blazing at uh, 
9.5 gigahertz. I and the the 2080 and the the 20 series. My 2080 Ti's, I believe they started out at 7,000, or I mean 7 gigahertz, and I could bump it up to 8 gigahertz. Here we're already at 9.5 gigahertz. I have bumped it up to 10.5 gigahertz, <clears throat> but I haven't done any research, any research as to what, you know, what are common memory clocks and GPU clocks that one um, can run the 3090 at. I uh, and I don't have any special BIOS loaded in the 3090s. Anyway, and so here comes the score. Unfortunately, you can't see it. You're gonna have to trust me on this. The score says ba da ba twenty-one thousand nine hundred. Well, that's because I'm live streaming. One thing I've learned is when you live stream, um the frame rates go down. So you, you're taking out some percentage of performance of your gaming system when you stream, when you live stream. Okay, so that is um, Port Royal. My next benchmark is my one of my favorites. Um, this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I posted a, a video on the performance of the 2080 Ti. And so now, this is the comparison. Um, the, compa the comparison to the uh, 3090. Uh, I'm still absolutely floored that I'm only running at 35C. My thirty, my twenty eighty Ti's were running at about forty five, somewhere between forty two, forty five, maybe a little higher. <clears throat> so, um, all right, so here we go, and I'm getting what a hundred frames per second. Um, with my twenty eighty Ti's, I was getting roughly. Uh, let me adjust the sound. I think the sound's good. We should be good with the sound. Um, with the 2080 Ti's, I was getting um, under... Oh, wait, wait, I gotta go shoot this uh, fox. Sorry. Ah. Damn it. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Just needed to nail that fox. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a bunch of rabbits. Let's go get us a rabbit. Watch. Ah. Well, I guess I'm not that good. Hey. I think I picked it up. Okay, sorry about that. I'm getting distracted. So I was getting um, 95, 97 frames per second with the 2080 Ti's. And here I'm consistently over 100 frames per second. Uh, so what did I get? 10%. I got a 10% increase going from a 2080 Ti to a 3090. I'm not going to tell you how much money I spent to get that 10% increase because it's, in, it's kind of uh, embarrassing. But yeah, 10%, maybe 15 if you work the, the numbers. All right, well, anyway, that is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, let's go on to, let's see, exit game here. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to switch to earphones because I think the noise from, because uh, I've got the speakers on. 
So the sound must be terrible. So let me turn on, let's see here. Um, no. Excuse me for a second. Gotta plug this back in there. Voila. Okay, now I got the microphone in my face. And here we go. No, it's not working. I've got to turn this on. There we go. And do I have the microphone working? The microphone is working. Uh, okay. I now have the audio going through my through my headset. So that way we don't mix up the audio of the mic and the speakers going into the mic and my voice. And then you have, all right, so this should sound a lot better. Let's do Horizon Zero Dawn again real quick and see if the sound is better. And I'm assuming it is. Now, one thing about this mic is I feel like I have to be speaking right into the mic. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Having a mic in your mouth like this. Ba 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 ba. Me 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 me. All right. So. Oh, now you're not getting any audio. Huh. That's not good. I gotta figure this out. Desktop audio. Let's see properties. Is device timestamps. Um, video capture device. Where do I get? Oh boy. Let's see here. Desktop audio. Oh, I see. Speakers. Hmm. Well, where's the game audio? Oh, okay. Maybe I've got to put that into the uh, the here. All right. Let's see if that worked. Resume. That's not working. All right, sorry about the technical difficulties here, guys. But turn that on. And let's see if this thing switched on me. No, let's go gaming. Oh. You know, the setup of this is too stupid. Audio, music, 100, output, NVIDIA, Realtek, there we go. All right. I think you're now hearing something. How's that? 
Better? Good. I can use this. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, these uh, gaming headset is pretty good. Okay. Okay, anyway, so 110. You guys want to see a little action? Let's go over here and cause some trouble. Now, why on earth are they shooting each other up over here? the hell I'm going after the uh, the thing of a bopper oh ah. yeah is that it yep now check this out I get this cannon here. I gotta go get my. And these guys. Am I out of ammo? All right, got that guy. Oh, this thing's still at me. The big chicken. Oh, Jesus. Well, this guy has some kind of a weird. You know, one thing I love about this game is that you have to shoot the parts off of the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Got him. <laughs> now that was excellent gameplay. You know. Check this out. What is this rolling thing rolling around? A bunch of metal shards. Alright, well it's, it's not like I'm gonna alright. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Damn. You know, some of the best combat and gameplay. Horizon Zero Dawn. All right. So I got my 10% boost by going from a 2080 Ti to a 3090. <clears throat> Was it worth it? Uh, let's see. What's another one? I have um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is supposed to be one of the few games that actually runs in SLI mode. Well, there's a problem with um, Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Let's see if... Um, uh, one thing I need to do here is uh, this might crash. No, nope, it worked. Oh, no, it did crash. Yeah, well. Oh, great. It just switched to another screen. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this thing's all screwed up. All right, I'm going to stop this and I'm gonna close the window. And 
let's see if that actually closes the window. If not, I'm going to have to murder it with an end task. Well, oh, is it going to go away? Yep. All right, we're back. When I'm live streaming, one thing I cannot do is change the graphic settings on Tomb Raider. So anyway, now the reason why I have to do that, <clears throat> there's some kind of a weird bug when you're in SLI mode. It uh, doesn't pick up G-Sync properly. And in order to get uh, G-Sync to run properly in SLI mode, dual GPU mode, is you have to essentially disable and re-enable the um, the full screen mode or whatever the expanded screen mode or whatever it is um otherwise you, you get some serious tearing but screw it let's just go in uh notice the temperatures 31 32 nice and chilly i mean with temps that low you would think i'd be able to push the frequency of the clocks way high. All right, here we go. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but the screen tearing is horrible. And for me to fix the screen tearing, I don't know if you can see it on the on the broadcast, but the screens, trust me, screen tearing sucks. Now, I'm getting 83, 86 frames per second. And that's roughly what I got with the 2080 Ti. And if you look at the GPU utilization, uh, they're both running at about 50%. So both GPUs are only running at 50%. Notice the GPU power, 290. Uh, roughly around uh, 290 watts and so what that's telling me is that um, somehow we've um, yeah, let me turn this down well anyway it basically means that uh, we've reached some kind of a limit inside the display software, inside the graphics rendering or whatever. So I'm getting the same performance with a 2080 Ti that I was getting with the 3090 uh, Dual. So here I gained nothing by going to the, the Dual 3090. So anyway, all right. We're going to exit this guy. I mean, the point of this one is one thing that they never talk about is, you know, they always, if you look at all these guys on their channels, what they do is they talk, you know, they do the benchmarking and the performance of, you know, they, they do a gazillion performance, you know, videos of all the new video cards that come out and all the comparisons. And the only thing they compare is frame rates. So I think it's important that they also um, put in the GPU utilization and the power consumption because that kind of rounds it out as to what exactly is going on with the... Because uh, it's not just, you know, the raw power. It's how the game uses the power of... The, uh, the graphics card, right? Um, clearly, Horizon Zero Dawn uses a lot more of the, um, of the processing power of just a single GPU, right? Uh, than, um, than Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, anyway, all right. So let's move on to... Um, I think the other one is we're going to play... Oops, I just fired up Rockstar Games. I don't want this. What I want to is uh, we're going to play Red Dead Redemption 2. And here I've actually configured it. I went, got the NVIDIA 
profile inspector, I think it's called. And with it, you can override some settings, which allows it to run in SLI mode with two GPUs. So we'll stop with that. Um, basically, the other video that I did where I was benchmarking the 2080 Ti's, I ran God of War. There's absolutely no difference with uh, with the performance. Um, I also there's another one that I just recently downloaded, um, Elder Ring. Sorry, Elder Ring just came out. Um, I think it was last Friday, and so I loaded it. And the graphics really suck. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I see there's a bunch of, there's flickering going on in the live stream. Um, which looks pretty bad. Where on my, on my actual video screen, on my, my gaming monitor, there's no flickering at all. So I'm not sure why you're getting that flickering right now. You know, I should probably turn up. I don't know how much audio you're getting. Ah, forget it. You might not be getting any audio on the um, from the video game. Oh, there's a little bit. All right, so we are. This is the very beginning of the uh, video game. I have already gone through a full playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Fabulous game. Um, so here we're outdoors. GPU util utilization, we got 90, 80 something, 90, uh, 87, close to 90. Not 100% GPU, but we're in the upper 80s, lower 90s. And I'm getting 120 frames per second. So, you know, this isn't bad. So at least I'm getting something. Now, I can't remember. I think I was getting around 70 frames per second on um, with the 2080 Ti's, I think. I'll have to go back and take a look at the... Uh, um, I'll have to take a look at uh, the video. Now, again, notice the flickering of the overlay. Uh, sorry about the flickering of the overlay. I believe that's due to the fact that Rockstar does not support, um, you know, dual uh, GPU SLI mode. And so my hack to go in there and make the video game work, uh, there's obviously some craziness with overlays. And anyway, that's fine. I don't really care. So I'm getting maybe 30%, I'm thinking, more playing Red Dead Redemption, um, which is not bad. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so that is Red Dead Redemption. And we're going to do one last quick um, play. Um, I'm going to play, um, I'm going to fire up. Oh, what is it called? Cyberpunk. Uh, let's get rid of that. We're going to do Cyberpunk. Now, Cyberpunk, I get really bad performance with Cyberpunk. And I'm surprised with the 3090 that it's so bad. And essentially, I get exactly the same performance uh, with the 2080 and the 3090. So I really don't know what to do about that. And I think there's a lot of tuning that one has to do. Um, but I don't know. I don't really want to spend the time. I started playing this game a little bit. I'm not much of a first person uh, shooter. And... Um, Let's see here. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or 
Press B to continue. Okay. So we're about 20 minutes into the gameplay. And we, the setting is uh, ultra. Anybody there? The setting is ultra uh, ray tracing. And the sound is driving me crazy. It's way too loud. Let's see if I turn this down. All right, that's better. Now I can sort of hear myself think. Um, yeah, so anyway, one, I have, one thing that I can't stand about this is screen tearing. I've got really bad screen, well, not really bad, but noticeable screen tearing, I think. I'm only getting 48. 40, I'm like in the 40s for the frame rate, which is what I was getting on my uh, 2080 Ti. So there's, again, something funky going on here. Uh, GPU utilization, 87%. 77%. So why do I have such a low frame rate? And my GPU utilization isn't at, you know, 100%. Uh, the power, I'm only generating 121 watts. Uh, that's weird. I don't understand that. My GPU voltage is 1.1. But, you know, there's something not right here. I should have the GPU running at 96, 97, 98%. And I should be burning up, you know, 350 watts. Is what I should be burning up, but I'm not. So there's again, there's some kind of tuning we need to do. I don't know. Um, obviously, video game development is a very complicated process, and um, and the fact that you know that their engine isn't somehow using the full potential of the 3090 it's like only using part of it uh, something's not tuned right with this anyway so that is my complaint now now this game has been uh, you know what I've seen on all the YouTube postings and videos and all that is this game is supposed to be visually fantastic and you need the most powerful processor to be able to run, you know, to play the game um, at the highest settings. Well, I don't think there, I mean, a powerful video game is not, I mean, a video card is not going to give you the, it's not, it's, you know, the limitation here, my gut feeling is in the implementation of the rendering engine it's not well optimized and a lot more work needs to go into optimizing it anyway that is what i am concluding from this okay well here i'll uh, take you over to uh real quick the settings and if we go to the graphics video full screen none oh they got a benchmark let's run the benchmark <coughs> all right well smart life is equipped whatever So what do we got here? Well, here the GPU utilization is close to 90%. 90, so it's 98. Getting 55 frames per second. Again, the power is 121. 
that makes no sense. What's up with the power? Unless there's a bug in the driver. Um, now we're getting screen tearing. There was a, just some uh, fairly serious screen tear just then. Uh, and, you know, I've got G-Link on. Um, so... Sixty frames per second. You know what's interesting? Both GPUs are actually active. Huh. That's weird. Uh, is it possible that I'm in SLI mode? Somehow, I don't think so. All right. I even have this thing in performance mode. Yeah, well. All right. There's, again, I'm not going to spend time screwing around with this. Exit benchmark, yes. Hey, I said exit the benchmark. All right. Is this exiting the benchmark? Uh, not really what I wanted to do. Yes, I'm going to quit the game. Well, anyway, that's it for tonight. We're done with uh, Steve's <laughs> live stream. I'm looking at, yeah, this performance. Anyway, I, I who knows? Um, well, anyway, so that's it for tonight. Um, I hope, um, well, I'm going to start hopefully doing some more. I'm going to, I'm going to try to spend a little bit of time on the overclocking. Uh, one thing I noticed on my, on my gaming system, uh, I have my memories. I, I bought, you know, DDR4 3600 memories. I think it was, that's what I got. And in the BIOS, it said the memories were running at 2,700 or so. Uh, so there's a bug there. I gotta make sure the memories are actually running at their overclocked capacity, 3,600. The highest um, non-overclocked for my motherboard is 3,200. Um, but it should be running, it should not be running at 2,700. It should be at least running 3,000 or more, 3,000 megahertz or more. And also, I'll do a little bit of research to find out what the, um, how to, you know, juice up the clocks, the memory clock and the GPU clock, and how far I can really go with that and what other people are doing. Uh, one thing I have to say is I got the Alpha Cool water blocks for my, uh, my 3090s <clears throat> and the fact that you know I'm getting temperatures uh, in the mid 30s uh, centigrade is absolutely amazing I'm I'm really happy with that uh, I don't know why <laughs> I was you know the uh, the water blocks on my twenty on my twenty eighties on my twenty eighty Ti's are the EKW vector water blocks, and I have a I posted a video about my uh, you know putting that system together you know you know mounting the water blocks and all that, and I came to realize and I thought there were you know that's forty five degrees, um, and but I don't know if it's the alpha cool, you know, the German engineering at work here that actually is doing a much better job uh, cooling the, um, you know, extracting heat from the GPU or maybe the GPUs run cooler, uh, but somehow they generate less heat per watt. Um, I don't know how that would be. Uh, so, or we're just, you know, much more efficient in cooling the, uh, the, the, the GPU. Okay. Well, anyway, with that, I'm off to bed.
I will see you guys on my next um, uh, video cast, my next stream.